welcome back. This is fun. This is the inaugural opening of Science with Sarah. We are in the outdoor science yeah. lab here at KSAT 12, getting ready for next week is the first time we're going to go to a school with Sarah in science lab. So today we thought we'd just do a, an experiment and make sure we're ready. This is your first time to be a part of this. Yes, and I'm loving the coat. And take a look at these cool, cool pins. I've got y'all need science, woman in science, and of course I had to do a, a cat, a cowboy cat. <laughs> I love it. So we're ready to go. So yeah. th the first thing we're going to do is you're going to explain what we're going to do. Right. So some of you all might have seen this already, but today we're going to make elephant toothpaste. We showed you briefly how it's done, but I want to show you how to do it at home. And what's really cool is all of these uh, materials are rel relatively available at any house. So we've got um, some hydrogen peroxide. Here's what you will need. You will need two water bottles. Okay. I've kind of spiced things up and did a beaker and a glass bottle, but just two water bottles will do. Hydrogen peroxide, first aid kit, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap. Now clear is best so you can see the colors uh, here a little bit better. Dry yeast packets, warm water, and food coloring. Food coloring is optional but I think it makes everything look better. Yeah. And you said we did elephant toothpaste before? Yeah we did. <laughs> I don't remember. Because you're an elephant. <laughs> an elephant has a bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> or See, because we're off to a flying start. I know. With the jokes anyway. Oh my right. goodness! But hey, David, I'm uh -huh. so excited. You know, you and I, we are going to be going out to classrooms right. to be doing these experiments live on GMSA at nine. Can't wait. We've already had a lot of wonderful responses from people. A lot of classes excited for this. So we are. We're definitely excited. So we're going to come back after the break, and we're going to do this experiment. Make sure we got everything ready to go for when we go to our first school. Where you know this first school we're going to next week. Or is that a secret? That's a secret. Ooh, <laughs> it's a you. surprise, but we're going to but a school we next wait. week. Yeah, the yeah. cool thing wait. about this is that you can find all these products at home. Exactly. Most of them. That's exactly so if right, Tiff. If, if kids want to do this with their parents later, just tell them, hey, let's go to the cabinet. Let's get all of these cool items and let's do it with Sarah later. Are you ready for an explosively I'm... good time? <laughs> yes. We'll do the experiment right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Science with Sarah right here on GMSA at 9. Tiffany, you're going to get started. Put half a cup of hydrogen peroxide in your beaker or water bottle. There you go. Keep on going. Go, 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 go. Got it. Okay. Keep on going. All of it. The whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. The All whole right. half cup. Okay. All right. And then put quarter cup of clear dish soap in there. Nice. Nice, nice. That's and texture. then once we take this away, you're going to put some food dye in there and mix it up with the straw, okay? Okay. We're going right. to go with Here we go, David. Whoa. 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 All right, here we go. Half a cup. That's soap, right? Okay. Yeah, that's just soap. Again, this is all very safe. This is completely yeah. safe. This is 3% <laughs> hydrogen peroxide, so it's not going to cause any it issues. It won't color my hair, will it? It will not, sir. Okay. All right, put that half cup in there. Mix this up good, Tiffany, with the straw. Okay. It's okay to make a mess because we're outside. That's the fun. Science with Sarah, man. Okay, so now we're going to do another quarter cup of clear dish soap. Put that in there and then mix it up with some food dye. All right, what we're going to add to this is warm water with yeast, okay? It has to sit for five minutes and the yeast has to be warm. If it's too cold, if it's too hot, the yeast will not activate. Tiffany, here's that. All right, David, you got that? What color you want in there, man? Did the yeast rise? Mm, okay. <laughs> All right, David. I like that too. All right, he chose a really beautiful purple color. Mix that up good, David. And then you guys are ready to rock and roll. Okay, put this yeast, warm yeast, is going to activate the hydrogen peroxide. We're going to get a lot of bubbles and it's going to be beautiful. You ready? All right, David, that's good. You mixed it up good, man. We'll do okay. it at the same Ready? time. Whatever you want. Three, two, one. All of it? No, no, no. Don't do all of it. Oh! oh! Okay, now set off some of these. Now, I want you, Tiffany, to do this one really slow, okay? And then you can watch it slowly go. So you can control the reaction time. Whoa. Okay. Isn't that awesome? So with the yeast, you can control the reaction time. This is perfectly safe. I want to talk a little bit about the science behind this. This okay. is a perfect example of chemistry. Did you bring a mop? 
Um, we'll be fine. We have a hose. This <laughs> is the chemical equation. Okay, so hydrogen peroxide is two hydrogen atoms per oxygen atom as well. So two H2O2, that's hydrogen peroxide. The yeast catalyzes the breaking down into two very common, common molecules, H2O and oxygen. We breathe oxygen, we drink water. It's really cool to see that in effect. And again, that is science with Sarah. <laughs> Look at it, this is awesome. So you guys can do this at home. If you do it at home, make sure to send us a little video. We would love to try to show it, a picture or anything like that. And if you would like for me and David to come out to your school for Science with Sarah, all you gotta do is email sciencewithsarah at ksat.com. I do gotta let you know though, the fall semester is filling up really quickly. We may have to trickle into spring, but we are here. That's all right. We're excited. All the schools right now are calling, emailing, <laughs> Sarah, if you, Sarah. Uh, if you do this experience at home, I would suggest a towel. That's a good idea. Or do it outside. Or outside, or go out in dad's yard because he's going to mow the grass. Anyway. <laughs> that would be fun. Did you have fun, Tim? This is awesome. That's awesome. I it love is that it goes in different, yeah. depending yeah. on how fast and you do it, it goes it's pretty cool. Still so. going, too. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's very humid out here. We can attest to that. Uh, meteorologist Justin Horn, wish you could have been out here with us, buddy, but I know you got a lot to talk about in the, in the weather. So let's take a look at live cam and head on over to Justin. <laughs> <laughs> 